video, we're going to show you some of the most amazing hikes to do in Puerto Rico. And all of these hikes are going to start out easy to moderate, but they all have options to add on distance at the end if you want a really good workout. If you love nature and doing healthy, fun activities with your family, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content from us. Let's go get started on our first hike, Seven Seas Beach to Playa Colora and Playa Escondida. Hi everyone, we're here at Seven Seas Beach in Fajardo, Puerto Rico, and we're going to hike to Playa Colora and Playa Escondida. This is an amazing hike. This is one of my absolute favorite hikes in Puerto Rico. And it's pretty easy to moderate, but you can also turn it into a, a strenuous hike if you want to go even farther along the beach. Seven Seas Beach is a great beach to visit with the whole family. It's known for being a pretty calm beach all year long. And when you get here, if you want to do the hike, just park, go to the beach, and then go to the left along the path and you'll find the beginning of the hike. This is one of my favorite hikes in Puerto Rico. It starts at this amazing beach that's great for swimming. And then you go through this enchanted forest that's just so, so pretty because it has all these magnificent natural arches made by the mangrove trees. And then you get to these two stunning hidden beaches that have the most amazing colors in the water and also in the sand. So this hike is definitely not stroller friendly at the beginning. I'm hoping it gets a little better after we get up this hill. So when you first start hiking this trail, there's going to be a fork after you go up the hill and you want to go right and that's going to take you to both of the hidden beaches. Right now we're on this trail and it is a lot easier to hike than that beginning scramble. As you're hiking, you're gonna to come to this beautiful view of the ocean here. This is not the first beach on the hike. This is a little beach that you pass, so keep going. These coastal forests are so pretty, and there's these amazing, booming ecosystems full of life. Just listen to the birds. So when you see this sign that is very colorful, <laughs> you're going to want to go to the right to get to Playa Colora. So here we're coming up on that beautiful, great first reveal of this beach, Playa Colora, which in Spanish means the red beach, and you will see why. This beach has the most stunning bright colors, this bright orangey red sand and this amazing turquoise blue water. This is Playa Colora. It is an amazingly beautiful place with just stunning colors. So after Playa Colora, if you want to go to Playa Escondido, hike back on that trail that you came on, and then you're going to make the other turn at the fork. This is the end of the trail at Playa Escondida. The water here is so pretty. It reminds me of Tamarindo Beach in Culebra because of these aqua and kind of like almost lavender tints in the water. This was such a fun and beautiful hike to do. It had a really big variety of landscapes and I highly recommend this hike. It is really gorgeous. So let's go on to our next hike. everyone, today we're hiking one of my favorite trails in Puerto Rico, Cueva Las Golondrinas in Manati. So here to your right is the Poza de Mujeres and then to the left you're going to see the beginning of this trail that goes through the forest straight to the Cueva de Las Golondrinas. This trail is so cool because it's this beautiful path through a forest with lots of different kinds of plants and animals 
and then you have to cross a river there's a secret beach on the way and when you get to the end it's this cave full of swallows that has different color sponges growing on the ground and today we're doing this hike with vesper and this is definitely vesper's biggest hike that she's done so the first time we hiked this we actually went like a really really long way and so we're going to show you the easiest shortest way to get there so when you come to this fork you're going to see one that goes to the left the one that goes to the right you can take if you want to get a beautiful cliff view of the ocean and keep going to the left to get to the swallow cave when you see this pretty little river coming through go to the right and through the trail in the woods so we made it to the cave and today is extremely rough probably in the winter this is you definitely want to come during low tide like look up a tide map uh, so right now it's a little too rough but we do have footage from the last time that we came here so we're going to put that in now so you can see what this amazing cave looks like a beautiful time hiking to this cave it's called Cueva de las Golondrinas or Swallows Cave because there are so many swallows flitting in and out of the cave uh, but it's such a beautiful hike even if you can't walk into the cave and if you do plan on going in the cave just make sure you bring water shoes and a buddy and be really really careful Is it cool? Look at it go! Today we're exploring the Laguna Tortuguero. So we're starting off in this trail, El Bosque. And if you want to see the map of the trail, you can actually find it on the All Trails app. That's how we found this. So according to the All Trails app, this trail is actually 12 miles long. So it's been an amazing trail for somebody that wants to get a really good workout. Today we're just going to go and see how far we can hike with the stroller. If you want to find the beginning of this trail, you're going to want to put Laguna Tortuguero Vega Baja into Google Maps. So for a while now, I've been looking for a beautiful nature trail that has a lot of shade, which is kind of hard to find in Puerto Rico because I keep getting so sunburned. Um, and this so far is so beautiful. And another nice thing is that it has great parking and that you can see the lagoon right at the parking. And it's kind of fun. It was fun for the baby because she got to chase around some ducks and some iguanas. Looks like the one to the right might be more fun. It might get you some lagoon views, but we're just gonna go straight for the stroller. See how it looks. Are you having fun, Mr. So I think we might have gotten to the end of where we can go with the stroller because it is flooded here. I'm just gonna go ahead and see what I can find, see if it's better on the other side. So yeah, we got to the end of where we can go on this trail because it's all flooded. This would be an amazing trail to keep going on, uh, on foot. I think we're just gonna let Vesper play in nature and have some fun out here. And we had a good walk already.
Right now we're hiking to our favorite secret beach on the north coast of Puerto Rico. This is in the Tortuguero Lagoon Nature Reserve. And if you wanna find it, put Los Tubos MTB Trail in your GPS. This park is actually a network of mountain biking trails and has some excellent trails for hiking, including this one that goes to the most picturesque white sand beach. I love doing this hike just to immerse myself in nature. You can hear the most exotic sounding birds and lizards are always scurrying about. You can even find tropical fruits on the way that you can eat on the beach. Look at this beautiful mango. This is one of our favorite places to escape the crowds and just have the peace of being in nature. And it's less than an hour away from San Juan. This beach is about a half mile hike from the parking lot at Los Tubos MTB Trail. The hike is fun for the whole family, as it's a great habitat to find hermit crabs, lizards, birds, and other wildlife. At the end of the hike, you'll be rewarded with views of a picture-perfect, pristine beach, one of the only beaches you may have all to yourself during your stay in Puerto Rico. You might even get lucky and spot a humpback whale. I love coming to this beach. It's so relaxing. It's super windy. Just so you know, this is not a safe beach for swimming at all. It's just a beautiful beach for relaxing, taking photos, and climbing on the palm trees. It's just a beautiful place to come and it is an unforgettable experience. Puerto Rico is a vibrant island full of amazing food, breathtaking places, and lovely people. Please subscribe so you can enjoy exploring this incredible island with us. Thank you so much for watching and see you on our next adventure.